Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is all about Charlotte Tilbury's latest instant look in a palette. This one is the Smoky Eye Beauty, and currently it's exclusive to Beautylish. I did hear that it's going to end up on the Charlotte Tilbury site at a later date, but at the moment it is exclusive to Beautylish. It is $75. I purchased it off of the Beautylish site. I'm really enjoying it. I have all the products on my face today. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts and watching a demo of this look, then just keep on watching. So Charlotte Tilbury just came out with her fourth instant look in a palette. This is the Smoky Eye Beauty. I really, really like this one. The first two palettes, yeah, they were okay. The first one, I feel like they've just gotten better, I should say. The first one was my least favorite. I think this one could be my favorite. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's the newness of it, but I really like the last one, the Beauty Glow palette, and this one. I feel like this one is a great sort of fall, winter companion to the Beauty Glow palette, which is more of like a spring, summer feel and actually let me compare the two for you so here is the beauty glow palette you can see it's much bronzier and it's much warmer in tone overall and here it is next to the smoky eye palette so i feel like these two work really well together and just for comparison's sake let's go ahead and hold it up next to the seductive beauty which was the second uh, instant look in a palette she came out. So here is Seductive Beauty and here is Smoky Eye. Um, and this one I liked. Um, I felt like the eyeshadows were pretty decent. The first one I felt like was a little bit too safe. Here it is and it's called Natural Beauty and it's definitely natural. The eyeshadows were very very faint. Um, the bronze and highlight were fine. In any case, you can see how different this is from this. So I feel like these palettes have just gotten better and better as they've evolved over time. And in terms of quality, I really love all the products in here. All the products, I don't know if you can see just around the pan here, but you can see that there's a little bit of powder kick up, but it's not much at all. It's not something that is concerning in any way. Uh, very, very normal. The smoke shade here, uh, while it's a really dark matte, and sometimes I find I have a hard time blending out those colors, they end up looking a little bit patchy or they go on you know, just a little bit too pigmented or they're not pigmented enough. This one is really nice. It blends out very, very nicely. Um, I can go in kind of slowly with it and build it up. It doesn't, it's not scary. So I feel like you can get a really um, quick smoky eye with this very easily. Now, uh, this is, I think, supposed to be like the Bar of Gold highlight. So I feel like the original Bar of Gold is more metallic than the highlight in this palette. So here is the original Bar of Gold and here's the highlight from the palette. So the original Bar of Gold is down here and then the highlight from the palette is up here. I find that this is, um, the original Bar of Gold is more golden, it's more metallic, the one on top is a little bit frostier. And then the blushes in this palette are supposed to be like the first love blush that she has in her line. And here is First Love. And um, the immediate difference I see is that the blushes in here appear to be more matte than the original blush here. The original blush here has like just a bit of like a satiny shimmer to it, um, but when I swatch them, I really don't see that much of a difference on the skin. Okay, so the top two swatches are from the palette and then these two are from the original blush. Again, I really don't see that much of a difference when it's actually on the skin. The tone of the blushes are a little bit different. I actually find the pigmentation in the palette to be a little bit stronger, but I have to say that my first love blush is probably a year and a half old, so I don't want to say for sure that the blushes in the palette are more pigmented. It could just simply be that my blush is too old. Um, but. I do feel like the coloring is just a little bit different and mainly between the two pop colors. So these are the two pop colors. The one in the palette I find is just a little bit stronger of a, of a pink and this one is more neutral. So all in all, I really like this palette a lot. Again, like I keep repeating myself, I think this one could be my favorite out of all four of them. And I like that she came out with this now because I feel like the smoke color and then this golden highlight is great for holiday. Um, I think it's a lot of fun if you want to kind of um, 
if you want to create kind of a bolder look for a holiday party or something like that, I think this is really, really appropriate and I think it's a lot of fun. This brightened color, it's what I have on the inside of my eyes. Such a beautiful sheen to it. It almost reminds me of the Filmstar Bronze and Glow highlight part. It just has that like really bright but satiny kind of shimmer to it. It's just, it's just really, really gorgeous. So anyway, if you'd like to watch a demo of this and hear my final thoughts on the palette, then just keep on watching. All right, so I have um, put on, you know, foundation, concealer, powder, I've done my eyebrows, and so I'm ready to go in. I'm gonna start with my face, so I'm gonna go in with the bronzer first. I'm gonna go in with my Tom Ford bronzer brush, and it fits pretty well into the pan here. I just have to move it around a bit. There's a little uh, powder kick up, but not too much. And I'm just gonna start uh, bronzing my cheekbone area here and my temple area. I like the tone of this. It's definitely redder than the Filmstar Bronze and Glow, which I think is definitely much more of like a contour color. This is definitely more of like a bronzer color, so um, I'd feel a little bit more comfortable lightly dusting this all over my face. So this is a nice color and a nice uh, change from the uh, Filmstar Bronze and Glow. So next let me go into the uh, blush and I'm gonna go into the swish color here up top. And then I'm gonna go into the pop color here and put that right on the apples of my cheeks. Nice healthy flush of color there. Uh, next let's go into the highlight color and I'm going to use my um, favorite highlighting brush, the Anastasia A23, and I'm just going to tap it into the highlight and I'm going to start the tops of my cheekbones. If you can hear my stomach growling, I apologize. I don't know what's wrong with it. I just had breakfast. Greedy. It's just being greedy. So here you can see like the frostiness of this particular highlight versus the really kind of gold metallic highlight that you get with the gold bar. So I think it's nice, it's just different. So just be aware of that if you're kind of expecting the same exact highlight as the bar of gold. That's not really what you're getting. Um, but it is very, very nice. And again, it's very frosty. So I think if you're lighter than me, this will definitely work. Um, of course, you know, depending on taste, it could work on anyone, but it really is, um, it really kind of feels like it has like a white kind of cast to it. All right, so let's go ahead and do the eyes. I am going to start with the Enhanced Color, and I'm using a Wayne Goss number 16 brush, just a fluffy blending brush. So there, I've warmed up my lids a little bit. So now I'm gonna go in with the uh, smoke color here and I'm gonna start on the outer corner and kind of go towards the middle of my lid here. And I'm using um, a smaller blending brush. This is the Wayne Goss number 17. And I'm going in very, very lightly with this color. And I'm going to press it to place the color first. And then I'm gonna start swiping it towards the center. Sometimes I have trouble blending out like dark matte shades and I actually had a problem with the last palette which is I think the Beauty Glow palette. I liked all the products in there except for the darkest uh, number three shade. It just didn't blend out well for me but this I'm finding very easy to blend which is really great. All right, so before going any further with that color, I'm going to use yet another smaller blending brush. This is the Wayne Goss number 19, and I'm gonna go into the Brighten color, and I'm gonna start um, at the inside of my lid and go towards the center and kind of meet this dark color here. And I'm just overlapping a little bit so I can blend those two colors together. 
and then I'm going to focus some on the inner corner of my eye here. And next I'm going to take like a pointy kind of, I don't know, I wouldn't call this a pencil brush, but a pointy brush and um, use that dark black smoke color and just add some to the uh, lower lash line. And last but not least, I'm just going to take a very clean uh, blending brush and just go over these edges just to make sure they are faded out. All right, so those are all the products in the palette. I'm going to hop off camera and finish the rest of my face. I'm going to put on uh, mascara and lipstick, and I will be right back. All right, so I finished up my makeup, and I just want to say that I really love this palette. I think you get a really, really nice kind of everyday fall winter look if you like um, a little bit more of a dramatic eye. You also don't need to use the the black matte shade if you don't want to go too dark. I think the transition shade and this uh, brighten shade, these two together would create a really pretty day look. Um, but I love the quality of the products in here. I think they're all really finely milled. I think they're all really pigmented. I, I don't there aren't really any surprises going on. Um, I feel like they blend out really, really well. And I just think this palette's a lot of fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please comment down below if you have any questions about this palette. Um, and I will see you in my next video.